Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Sugandha and today I'll be talking about worldwide neuro and also worldwide science. I was just talking to one of my friends yesterday and I realized that many people actually don't know about worldwide neuro and I think it's a great platform for someone who's looking to get into neuroscience or cognitive science and even other fields like machine learning for instance and there are a series of talks that are published on this uh, platform and there's also job opportunities that are published on this platform that can be very helpful to people. So let me just uh, actually share my screen and show you uh, what I'm talking about. So let's just type um, here worldwideneuro.com and this takes us to what I'm talking about. So you can see that this is actually a list of talks, right? And uh, this is arranged in a weekly manner. So you can see that, um, you know, for instance, Professor Corrine Huard from King's College London has a talk on March 28th. And the point is that some of these talks are, um, you know, on online and open to everyone, right? With this, uh, with this whole COVID transformation, everything is online now and people are using Zoom for um, you know, their um, talks uh, all over the world. And so this is one of the ways that you can, you know, you see there, this is a uh, link is provided, you know, and you can join this link. Um, you can join this talk using this link. And so if you're interested, um, you know, for instance, in the field of neuroscience, and you don't quite know what it is yet, but you would like to drop in on some talks, for instance, then you can go to Worldwide Neuro and you can see the, these lists of multiple talks. And you can also see that there are specific topics listed here. So if you're interested, for instance, specifically in cognition, you can click on cognition and you know these you will see these talks arranged by date. And uh, it's, it's a great opportunity for anyone to kind of just drop in on any talks. For instance, you can see here, uh, there's a talk by Dr. Naomi Leonard from Princeton University. Uh, so, you know, if you are in any part of the world and you want to attend a talk uh, by professors all over the world or by professionals all over the world, you can uh, just use this website. Um, let's look at other talks, right? So you can see that, you know, there are talks under perception. If I was a perceptual scientist, I could um, just go here and see um, multiple talks uh, advertised by, for instance, UCLA Psychology Department, Melbourne School of Physiological Sciences. Uh, here's one by NYU. And you can, uh, you know, it, it's really, really a great opportunity um, for people to just kind of go and uh, either watch or attend these talks live. So in, in this case, you can see that this talk uh, just has a watch here link. So which means that you can just click on this link and watch the talk uh, online as it's happening. Uh, but there are also other uh, talks, for instance, the example which we saw before, which have, which gives you a join via this link um, uh, option, right? So in this case, you can actually join the talk live using this link. And that also allows you to ask any questions while the, the talk is actually going on. So it's a very nice way of, you know, meeting new people, interacting with new people, learning more about a field you might be interested in. And then I also want to say that, um, you know, there's also other uh, fields that have um, the same opportunity. So for instance, if you're interested in machine learning specifically, you can click on machine learning and you can, um, you know, look at the different options available within machine learning. So let's say we explore reinforcement learning. So you'll see that, you know, there's a, a talk by uh, Kate Rakeli at University of California, Berkeley. So, you know, it, and this is the one to watch. And similarly, there are other, this is a very nice um, talk by Professor Stefano Fusi and at Columbia University, this uh, Professor Stefano Fusi is one of uh, a very well-known um, theoretical neuroscientists. And actually now that I'm here, I might as well mark this on my calendar, um, June 11th, 9 a.m. So yeah, so th this is really, uh, nice that you know sitting here I can just know about what talks are happening uh, at Columbia University usually you wouldn't even know uh, about the seminars and talks uh, at different universities but this is this platform gives you an option to actually know about what talks are happening in different universities and also watch them or attend them live so that you can ask questions what's also very interesting about this platform is that uh, you have a jobs board here 
let's check out what uh, this jobs board is. And so here you can see that, you know, th this is basically a place where people advertise jobs and also people advertise themselves, right? So it's both for job seekers and for employers. And you, so you can see, if I click on employers, you can see that there are different opportunities uh, posted here. So let me, uh, let's say I want to look for a job in cognitive science. And so now you can see that within cognitive science, you know, it'll show me all the job postings which have the word cognitive science in it. And so let's just pick one of them. So for instance, this one. And so you can see that this is basically a job posting uh, for a postdoc position. So uh, the employer is looking for a postdoc position. This is the employer's name, where they're from, they're from University of Hazel. And so they've given a description of the job and they've also given uh, the requirements uh, for a suitable candidate. And so, you know, and they also provide uh, their own website. So this is basically, you know, a way for employers to kind of advertise of the positions that are open in their labs. And, uh, you know, if anyone is looking for positions um, in which might be, you know, a research scientist position, you can see that, you know, you have postdoc positions, but you then, uh, you know, apart from postdoc positions, you have uh, PhD positions for graduate students. You also have research associate positions. So if you are not yet a graduate student, um, you just want to work as either a research associate or a lab technician in a lab. This is this is a great idea because you can use this these opportunities to collect experience, right? To gain experience in the research field that you're interested in. So, for instance, there's a lab technology lab technician position in behavioral neurobiology. So, if you're interested in behavioral neurobiology and you would like to apply to grad school in this particular field, then you should really be looking for these kinds of positions, which include research assistants, um, research associates or lab technicians, where uh, you know you, the, you, you can get experience working in a research environment for one or two years before you apply to grad school. And so apart from employers, there's also uh, this job seekers tab and within job seekers, you know, you can see that there are different tags here, right? So if I'm a job seeker and I'm looking for a job as a lab technician, I can just, uh, you know, um, create a posting and that posting would show up here, right? So for that, I'll have to make an account on this website. But once I make an account, I can, for instance, we can look at the posting of Ankush Chakraborty. They are actually looking um, for a research assistant uh, or a research fellow or an internship position uh, in, in a lab and their scientific interests are stress and depression. So they would like to study stress and depression. And they have said that they have experience in neuroscience, ecology, evolution, and so on, right? And they provided their email. So if anyone is looking for a research assistant in, in these areas, then they can email this candidate um, and approach them and ask them um, for either an interview um, or an informal chat. Right, so I think um, I think this is this is a great uh, opportunity for anyone who's looking for any kind of job or who wants to put themselves out there, advertise themselves out there um, with their skills and experience, so that the employers who are looking to hire people can actually have an option to look at uh, people of different profiles and um, uh, find the best fit for themselves. And so here's how you can submit your listing. You can just click on submit listing and then. You know, you can look at, you can either click on job seeker or employer uh, based on whatever listing uh, you want to post. There's also this just curious button here. And the purpose of this is that if you, you know, just want to test out the system by submitting uh, a form, then, you know, you can just use the just curious button. So I can show you that if you click on just curious button, you'll see this form pop up and it'll ask you a bunch of questions and then you can submit the form and you'll see that it uh, shows up. Um, you know, if you go back to the board and we click on just curious, you can see that some people have tried this just curious option to just like, post um, some uh, something just to try out how the system works. And usually if you post something using the Just Curious button, it'll just be automatically removed after one hour. So it's just for you to test it out before you actually post your own posting. So let's also look at the job seeker form. So if you are seeking a job and you want to advertise yourself, then you know this is a form, they'll ask you for your full name and then you can mention your scientific interests, your experience, um, and and so on and uh what's also important is to give give them a contact uh email which uh, you actually monitor very regularly so that in case someone contacts you you can uh, get back to them in time 
And um, similarly, if you're in, an employer, then you can also advertise for positions. And there's a similar form, um, you know, where you can specify what you're looking for, what the job description is, and what the deadline for applying is, um, and so on and so forth. So that's pretty much what I wanted to cover today. I hope I've given you a reasonable overview of what worldwide neuro is and what worldwide science is. Um, and uh, just to summarize, you can use this platform to attend any talks of your interest, or if you're exploring a new field that you're interested in, uh, especially neuroscience or cognitive science, you can go there and check out a few talks and even interact with people presenting or giving these talks uh, live uh, in some of these cases. And uh, this is a way for you to know what kind of talks are being held at different universities, what kind of content is being um, presented. And at the same time, there's also job opportunities, which is a very important because you can actually uh, look at the relevant jobs which are advertised and especially if you are planning to apply to grad school um, in neuroscience or cognitive science there are numerous job opportunities available uh, as research assistants or lab technicians and you can apply to them and uh, that that those are positions that can help you gain research experience uh, and build your profile before you actually apply to grad school so I'm going to stop sharing my screen and uh, I just want to thank you all for watching this video and uh, you all have a great day. And if you would like to check out some similar videos, uh, you can uh, check out the playlist uh, right at the bottom of the screen. All right. See you. Thank you.